Welcome back to the channel, everyone. It is the baddest man on the planet, the human juggernaut himself, Damien McLeod. Now, it's been brought to my attention, you know, just more shady shit in the fitness industry. I mean, I've been pointing out shady shit for the past month. Well, actually for years. But this last month, I've been going deep into the rabbit hole. Now... Colin Von Moger has a lot of shit going on with him right now. But one of the things that, you know, just came to light is, you know, the bodybuilding.com website is pretty much using his image, his name, his um, his feats that he's competed in the bodybuilding world. You know, his hard work, everything that he's put into it for years and years um, to promote a fucking app. All right. And now, a lot of people, you know, a lot of sites, they use other athletes or bodybuilders to promote things. But when they do it in the manner that bodybuilding.com is doing this, meaning not getting permission to use his shit, that's when it gets shady. Because at the end of the day, like I always say, this is all about the money. It's all about the money. So that means if... You know, you can sell a program that you know is bullshit. You could promote a workout that you know you didn't really do. You you did something totally different and you used steroids. Or using someone's image to promote something. And they're not even paying them for it. Now, it's cool if they were like, you know, came to an agreement, signed a contract. You know, did a legit business. And got the man's permission. But let me let me play this part of the video and, you know, for him speaking on it, then I'm going to get back into it. Rex, I've also got a bone to pick with bodyboons.com. They're a bunch of stooges. They um, have released an app, and they're using my face and my picture, um, and they're selling it online and stuff. It's a workout app with, um, uh, it's like a six-week plan that I did with them two years ago, which was for free on their site and um, some of you might remember it well now they're selling it in an app that you have to sign up for and using my face as a face of the app um, and here's the catch you sign you, you buy it and then there's a bunch of other um, workouts and stuff in there that aren't even mine so they're just using it to sell me to my face to sell their app to you guys which is not cool um, I'm working trying to get that to, uh, removed um, but on the other hand, I have got my app, which is as uh, all my workouts, which are currently up to date. I've got this. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, a screenshot of the app that bodybuilding.com uh, selling and asking for you to sign up for a six week program that's two years old, but I don't ever do. So like I was saying, you know, <laughs> without getting this man's permission, they went ahead and used his likeness, used his name. I mean, his picture's right on the app, on the site. The Colin Von Moger app, you know, and it's not even his app. He's not bidding for, he's not benefiting from this at all, monetarily. You know what I'm saying? He should be getting paid. The money should be distributed evenly. He should be getting his cut. Like they say, if a nickel bag gets sold in the park, I want in. And that just shows you the shadiness in this fitness industry. I've been exposing Alpha Destiny, um, what a Connor Murphy, uh, fucking um kelly body no no kino body all these fucking guys man it's always some fraudulent element when it comes to these guys in the fitness industry that have all the buzz the guys with the buzz are doing the most fraudulent shit you know what i'm saying it, it's it is what it is you know until people wake up and realize you know you're being duked being duped you're not you're not gonna you know it's not gonna change if there's money to be made rest assured there's somebody benefiting on the sideline you know what i'm saying exploiting doing whatever they got to do to get their cut and that's what it's all about like i said whether it's lying to the people like on a, look a lot of these magazines they got these overly buff guys these physique model guys and they're promoting them as natural you know what i'm saying they're promoting these workouts Try this training plan. Try this training split. One week, you know, you're doing four sets. Next week, they want to do six sets. And they're promoting some muscular-looking guy 
who got there using steroids or some supplement company doing the same thing. They're promoting behind, you know, the image of a guy who they're portraying, you know, as a guy who ran this program, who took this powder, who popped these pills. When in reality, they took those shots way before they got into the industry. And they showed up and got the job to be in the industry based upon their steroided out physique. And now they're being used as guinea pigs, you know, used as pawns, I'll say. I'd say used as pawns to sell these damn programs. And it's just, like I say, it's shadiness at, at a maximum level. You know what I'm saying? It's sh- at a maximum level. But, you know, at, and like I said, at the end of the day, it all falls back on the people. If the people wake up and smell the fraudulence, like I always say, just take a whiff. If it smells fraudulent, chances are it fucking is. Then just leave it alone. Don't give these people the opportunity to capitalize off your stupidity. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, common sense is not always that common. And there's there's a fool born every minute. But yeah, you know, that's how I feel. You know, my opinion, man, I think it's fucked up. Give the guy his money. Do a legit contract. Keep every keep everyone happy. You know what I'm saying? Share the money. Share it. Don't steal from people. Don't steal their image. Alright? It's just it's fucked up. But if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, I am subliminally in your mind. So until next time, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes. My lyrics explode on contact, came in you hoes. Who else but mama's only fun? Put the phony niggas up, uh, say my name, watch bitches come. Now